Um, thank you, Dr. Agniotri. Uh, um, the, um, my colleagues on the dais and uh, off the dais. See, um, the issue that I'm going to talk about is on the Internet of Things uh, for renewable energy. Uh, you know, uh, when one looks at um, various sources of renewable energy, of course, one can think in terms of hydro, bio, wind, and solar. Uh, especially wind and solar are the ones uh, which are um, the, which are placed at diverse geographical locations uh, where the production of energy changes depending on the climate, where the investments can be quite substantial, and the lack of returns from those investments for various reasons, climatic or otherwise, can be extremely uh, harmful to the return that a person has made in, uh, uh, on the investment that a person has made in it. And uh, the solution that I'm talking about is the work that we have done on an internet uh, of things solution uh, for wind energy for a major customer, uh, for a multinational uh, windmill uh, company in the US. Windmills are a particularly uh, unique situation uh, because every mill, windmill, costs quite a bit. The, um, the problem if the windmill is not operating when the wind is uh, blowing, uh, if the windmill is not operating at that time can be very severe uh, because it affects the utility or it affects the uh, energy generation very substantially. The cost of maintenance of a windmill is high. It is expected to last for a long period of time. It is expected to run for 20 years or so. So it has a long life. Uh, the cost of uh, non-usage is very high. The cost of repair is very high. And therefore, there is a high degree of criticality in ensuring that the windmill is operating continuously. And for that, you obviously have sensors on a windmill. <coughs> and there have been, as long as there have been windmills, there have been sensors on it, and there is data coming on it. But the problem is that the amount of data that you can get is megabytes of data from the multiple sensors that a windmill has. The question is, how do you keep the windmill running in an efficient and economical way over a long period of time so that the cost of non-usage can be minimized? And I believe that the new technologies of Internet of Things are extremely valuable in this regard. And I'm sure that the same technologies can be used for solar, but I'm going to talk about wind here. So um, what are the new technologies which are now available to us which were not available earlier? I think that's a question to begin with. First is, of course, a large number of sensors from which you can capture data. Second is an ability to handle a very large amount of data. The new technologies on big data, whether they are open source or they are proprietary, make it possible for us to handle huge amounts of data. The third is the new tools which can help you analyze the data to come out with good visualization. See, I mean, it is very bad not to have data, but I think it is equally too bad to have too much of data. So how do you visualize data? How you can come out with alerts is a very important thing. So building technologies that collect data, that analyze data, that give visualization of data, and give alerts on the data is critical. Now, what do you do with that data? So obviously, you can use that data for diagnostics and for prognostics. And these are the areas where we have, as a company, done some really extraordinary work. <coughs> so what you want to do is, before a fault occurs, you want to be able to say that, hey, knowing the trend of operation of this particular turbine, when there is a problem likely to occur, and what would be the nature of that problem. And you can use good diagnostic tools for it. Apart from use, using standard decision tree diagnostics, you can use modern tools like um, uh, you know, uh, graph theory, where you can actually connect uh, multiple dots from the data. You can also use the same data for prognostics. So diagnostics in the case where the problem has come, and prognostics in the case where a problem is likely to come, are the major avenues which are opened up. Now, when you diagnose a problem, it's not enough that you know 
what has happened. You have to know why it has happened and more importantly, how to fix it. So you need technologies to ensure that you know if a, if a turbine has stopped, it has stopped on account of A, B, and C factors. And the way to get it running would call for A, B, and C materials and people of a certain skill. So how can you predict the workflow? How can you predict the people required and the material required on that account? We have done similar work in one of our client's case. And they, they, they wrote us, wrote to us after four months saying that in the last three months we could save $10 million by virtue of the software because they could know beforehand what kind of people would be required, what kind of materials would be required to fix the turbine. Now, as you know, most of the windmills are in remote locations. So you have to be able to decide who should go to that place, how, what skill level person should go to that place to fix it and what equipment he should carry with him. So being able to actually um, uh, to, to decide the, uh, the workflow for that is extremely important. So um, getting the data, visualization and alert on that data, diagnostics of that data, prognostic of that data, and uh, uh, some sort of a workflow analysis of that data. Saying that if you give this work for fixing to company A, how do you issue a work order to them? How do you ensure that within a few days, say 48 hours or 72 hours, you get the response back from them is all very important. This solution, uh, rightly to the point that Dr. Agniyotri raised, is highly scalable because this is not place dependent. You can run that solution from India for windmills all over the world. And I believe that, and this is a sturdy solution. Internet is available in most of the places. Uh, the telecommunications are available. And you can run it through a well-equipped um, well command center from any place in the world. I believe that this can also have a substantial impact on the decision regarding the profitability of a particular operation. Not just from the point of view of reduction of the cost, but also from the point of view of potential increase in revenues. As you, as you know, uh, the power markets are getting liberalized. You charge, uh, you, cha uh, you get payment for that depending on what time of the day you produce the power and you supply it. And you can aggregate the data regarding the supply of such energy available and use it for good pricing purposes. So in effect, such a solution is scalable. Such a solution is extremely impactful, both on the cost side as well as the revenue side. And it is extremely affordable for almost everyone. I believe that this is a solution that works and it can be of great use as we go more and more in favor of renewable energy. Thank you very much.